Okay, so in this video we'll be looking at how to edit pages in Magento 2. Now when I say pages, I'm not talking about category pages or product pages. I'm talking more about uh, what's uh, known as CMS pages. So things like your About Us page, your Privacy Policy page, uh, you know, things like that. So once you've logged into the Magento admin area, what you want to do is go to Content and then Pages. So in here, you'll have a list of the different pages that are on your website. And to edit something like, let's say, the About Us page, you'd go to the Select here and Edit. So the top page enabled, the page title, the page heading, which is uh, separate to this. This is just as an identifier for the page, this which the content heading would show on the page. In here you can uh, edit the content uh, using the WYSIWYG editor, uh, so that makes it fairly straightforward, so you can easily bold, underline, italic, link, things. And then just further down, search optimization, uh, so the URL, meta title, and description, and yeah, that's, that's the basis of that. So when, once you've edited that, all you do, hit save in the top right. Now, on some pages, you might also have what's known as a custom block. Uh, this is like an element uh, on the page that uh, on the page itself, rather than the page in total. So, something like the foot, uh, the links in the footer of your page that go to your about and privacy page, or uh, a section that's on the category pages that uh, gives this extra little description area. Um, it, it it can vary depending on how the website's set up and what's used. Uh, but to edit these, we go to Content again and Blocks. And in here, we'll get a list of the content blocks that are on the website. So you can see things like footer, link, block, uh, the contact as info, sale menu left, uh, some elements from some of the cat on some of the category pages. Uh, but to edit these, once again, it's Select Edit. And in here, you'll have a similar thing to the uh, the page editor. So the block title, the identifier. Um, I wouldn't uh, if I if uh, you're editing one, do not change the identifier because this is used within the code to uh, pull this piece of block, uh, this block onto the page itself. So uh, just leave that alone in most situations. And once again, it's similar to the um, the page. You can just edit the content here using the WYSIWYG editor, and then once you're done with that, it's saved in the top right, and yeah, that's uh, that's all you really need to know.